Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a beautiful day yes, on the Thinker. Not a cloud in the sky. But it was really cold this morning when we got up, which was what about eight o'clock? Not too early. Uh, it was 0 0.7 degrees yeah. outside. Um, Terrible freezing. Yeah. 33 Fahrenheit. -ish. Yeah. 33, 34 maybe. Chilly, Thankfully, chilly. as soon as the sun comes out, it soon warms up and it is beautiful now. Yeah, um, it's a good job because we're still on reduced solar. Yes. Um, but we did get the big black pipe out last night. Emilio came in the dark. Uh, so we rolled it up. You'll sort of show you that in a minute. It's a bit of a mission. Um, we're going to get try and get that in place today because our cables and all the rest of the stuff should be arriving today. We've had notifications that they're on the way. Yeah. Whether they can find us or not, or whether they can be bothered to find Thanks. us or ring, is the thing. <laughs> so fingers crossed on that. Yeah. Um, but we hopefully we'll be have our solar back to as it was, up and running um, by the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. excellent. Um, we've had a bit of a drama this morning. Um, oh, the, the escape artist. <laughs> Bear Bear decided to uh, escape his pen. Um, it's the smallest little hole where the fence it's was pushed. joined to the gate post. He'd pushed himself through it. Unbelievable. But his good boy came straight back. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, so uh, we've had to do an emergency repair on that this morning whilst I walked them. Um, yeah. Ducky. So, so uh, um, yeah, that's about it. Really, nothing new. No. Um, yeah, hopefully, we're going to make some good progress today and get our solar sorted out. Yeah. So, shall we um, crack on? Crack on. So this is our oversized conduit <laughs> um, we should have enough actually to do the full run which is good uh, it's the pipe we used um, to pump the waste of the, from the pumping station up to the septic tank and what's left over of it um, so we kept it these things are always coming so hopefully um, it'll serve a good purpose protect the cables nothing's going to get through this um, so all I've got to do first is prepare the area where it's going so the cables are going to come out the house wall there it's going to run round where the steps are there we're going to run it across there and then make another another step to hide it um, and then yeah it'll conceal it and then run it behind the stable up to where the panels are um, so first I need to sort of sort this bit out a bit and um, yeah make sure we can get it just dig it down a bit and then we can backfill it after so I'll get on with that. Okay, so I've got um, a loose trench cleared um, for the for the pipe to go in. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna drill through now um, from the inside where I want my cables to come in. There'll be two sets, one for each um, additional bank that we're putting in. Um, so we're gonna have a look inside. I'll get the big drill out and see if we can make a hole. So all the original services enter and exit here. Um, I think I'm going to bring it along, do it about there. One hole through for two sets of cables. I can then run them along and bend them up as necessary, depending on what happens with this inverter or not. Um, so yeah, wonderful. So I'll go and find my drill, see if we can make a hole in it. Let's see if we can get lucky and miss the biggest stones. So my fourth try, I managed to get the, the thin bit through. Um, I think I'm going to need the big drill to get the big bit through. It's pretty hard that. Right, it's through here. Um, it's a bit higher than I would have liked actually. So I'm going to try and come through a little bit lower. Um, now I've got an idea where it is and where the stone is because I've just come right through one. I'll try and get it a bit lower. Right, that's perfect. Down there if you can see it. Um, exactly where I want it. It actually flew through as well so I'm going to try and get the big bit through with this drill. Wish me luck. Right okay it's through relatively easily. A um, bit of a struggle for the battery drill but it's through. Um, Shaman's just been the bodega, seen the van, the delivery van that's got our cables on so hopefully they're going to be here very soon. The phone's there, I'm not going to miss the call. <laughs> so fingers crossed again. Right, so we're going to attempt to 
get that big tube round here. <laughs> this should be fun. That's phase one complete. Um, fantastic. Still, the fun isn't over yet, though. Right, that'll do for now. Um, we've got loads of it, didn't realise we had this much. Um, so yeah, fantastic. So I think we're gonna prepare the, the far end first where it goes into the house. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna attempt to do is cut a hole through the side of the pipe here. So that'll lie right up to the wall. The cables will come out, exit through the side of the tube and go through the hole. I've got a hole cutter. Let's see if we can do it. Um, it's not going to be easy. That's the way I want it there. X marks the spot. We're through, we're through. That's very spot on, that excellent. Right, next. So the next thing to do is to cut it off um, so it goes under the panels there. The second, the third final bank of panels, the array, is gonna be where you are right now. So we're gonna trench across from there to come in to meet this. And this will just go direct with two cables um, all the way at the house. So Shannon's just gone for the saws all. As soon as she gets back, we'll get it chopped. Okay, lovely. Get this out of the way now and um, get it sorted out. Right, so the other bank of panels, the other array is going here. So I'm, while the pipe's out, before we put it away, I'm just going to cut a length that's going to go underground across here. I'll cut it a bit long. Um, we can always shorten it if necessary, but we can't make it longer. Um, so that's the next thing to do. Then we get this sorted out ready for our pi uh, our cables if they ever arrive cool so we've got our piece all we've got to do now tie this back up a much more manageable size and roll it back to the storage thing right so it's in nice and neat uh, another good job well done um, when, as soon as we get our cable now we can run it through it's pretty straight it should go through all right hopefully getting it out of that end might be a bit tricky um, but we'll figure it out. This is all going to be filled in eventually. It's just our dump spot at the minute, but it's going to be built up with soil um, as time goes on. So yeah, happy days. Well, you couldn't make this up. Um, Shannon's just been into town again to pick up the the charge controllers. Um, 
that they sent wrong yesterday and they've sent the same wrong ones again so I've I've just cancelled and returned them or waiting for them to be returned and um, I've ordered um, them from somewhere else that I know they were just more expensive that's all I was just trying to save a few bob um, but they're not going to be here till they said they're going to be here on Thursday if I ordered before three o'clock today which I did so we're looking at Thursday it's Tuesday today um, so I just have to struggle on for a couple more days the cable's still not here yet that's supposed to be coming today um, but in the meantime at least I'm going to wire up the the cables under the solar panels um, so they're ready for when it, the stuff does arrive at least I can get that done right so all the panels are wired into the box um, obviously the, the they're not connected up to the panels themselves yet because it'd all be live in here. I'm um, just playing that waiting game now. Waiting. Well, we're gonna have to wait till Thursday. Um, hopefully, the cable will be here um, today, so at least we can get that in later. So we just keep waiting. Well, that's another day done on the Finca. All the animals have been fed. The boys have been walked. Um, a bit of a disappointing day, really. The cable hmm, didn't turn up. Um, the, the charge controller that Andy had to reorder yesterday was the wrong one again okay. for a second time. So that again was frustrating. Like any mistake, 60 amps and 20 amps. Yeah. Um, it's disgusting really, but there's nothing we can do about it. Leave me a review. Um, but we have had some fantastic news. Um, when this happened, I contacted Paul at Fortuna Logica. Remember the guys that so kindly donated us the panels? And he's actually got um, a five kilowatt nice inverter charger um, that he said we can have. I, I asked him to see if he could help us and we get a trade deal on, buy one, on yeah. prices and stuff like that. But they've actually said, you know, he, he's happy um, to help us out once again and um you know donate it to us which is absolutely, absolutely fantastic. fantastic and you don't know how much that means to us you know it's, it's a yeah it is absolutely, absolutely yeah the best news ever we could yeah. have ever got so again fortuna logica paul and gareth thank you so thank much you guys. um i'll put a link in the description again um if you need a quote that these guys are absolutely amazing so if you need a quote on a solar please do contact them yeah. i'm sure they'll do you you know a great system and a great deal um yeah what more can we say absolutely fantastic um thank you all for watching we hope you enjoyed it um we're slowly getting there with this um it's going to be a couple more days we're still very low on power um but we might have to fire the generator up tomorrow depending on what does and doesn't come yeah to carry on because we need to carry on with the we do the construction and the kitchen yeah upstairs yeah and there's um, nothing else we can do now on the solar until the cable arrives so. until the bits come yeah yeah um so yeah thanks thanks all for watching um thanks all the subscribers thanks so much to all the people that have helped us out um you know absolutely fantastic yeah. um we will see you tomorrow, tomorrow.